Good morning, guys. Today we are going to discuss related to the processes in Linux. Guys, uh, before going to the process, I just want to know who are and say, how many people knows what is process. Can anybody tell me what is the process? Yeah, so everybody knows what actually the problem is like you guys, you guys are not trying to speak in front of these people. So I have told you several times, unless until you are not speaking or unless until you are not participating in the in any type of discussion, then you are not going to get success. Whatever may be, suppose you know a good thing and because of your stage fearness or any fear factor, you are not able to express, then who is going to, or who, is able to, who will be able to evaluate you? So please guys, always you should Tell whatever you knew, knew, okay. Let's say you have known a wrong answer. At least if you are telling the wrong answer, those who knew the same answer, they will at least rectify themselves that this is not the right answer. So telling a wrong answer is not a bad thing sometimes wrong answers can rectify many people and it is also a it, it become a good thing for all okay so guys anyway so i am not imposing you but always you should do this type of practice it's the linux section so after your linux section many sessions are going to be conducted as part of our course so guys always 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 try to speak whatever you knew if you are if somebody is giving a chance to you to, to speak something before uh yeah so without further delay let's start all these things, PS, top, kill, jobs, background jobs, no, BG, FG, commands. So I have told you what is a process. I have already several times I have told you process is nothing but it's a running program. While I'm writing a program, that program is just a written script or it's a written text or group of commands, anything you can tell, unless until it is not running, then you cannot feel the functionality of the command or functionality of that particular program. So you have to run. I have told you how to run the program, right? There are two ways to run a program or script in Linux. One is dot slash method right dot slash method let me connect to the linux machine first so this is my connection see let's say i am i have a script called Light booking morning batch dot shop. So what I will uh, I will do dot slash flight booking morning batch. This is one method like dot slash. So what this dot slash is doing? This is telling to the script or the cell will 
run this particular script under the subcell of this current cell. So here, here my cell is this echo dollar zero is my cell name echo dollar dollar is my PID. So under this cell and PID my this flight booking morning batch script is going to be run. So this flight booking morning batch dot sh will become the child of this bar cell. Okay, guys, you understood. So when this particular program is going to run, uh, what is another way I, I would like to tell like sh or b sorry sh or b a s h or k s h any cell name just you put here then this is going to run that particular script also so just see i just want to tell what is the process so when a particular program is going to run let me open another cell so that I can tell you how the cells are, how the program is running and how can you just identify the programs, okay, whether it is running or not. This is another background, another, another um, terminal I have opened. Okay. So this is my terminal. Yeah. Let it be minimized somewhat. Yeah. This is my another screen. Here I am just running one program a dot. Uh, before running, I want to check how many processes are on the ps command. So ps command is only going to give you the current cell name and your ps command information. Okay, you have just executed this ps command. That's why this process. It's a, it's a, any command is running at the time it becomes become a process. So PS is running on the this particular PID and BAS was running under this PID. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then if you want to see other processes which are running, simply PS minus A. A means actually all the processes or E. Okay. So let's do that A. Okay, PS minus A. So it is telling me PS minus A, this capital A. Okay, it is showing me all the processes. If it is showing me all the processes, yeah. so what are the processes? So this is your process, this is your bash cell process. Then other things are kind of demon because they are not getting any uh, this uh, terminal to run. Okay. So this is also bash, bash is running here because two bashes are running right. One is here, another is here. That's why it is telling this right. One is at point PTS zero, another is PTS one. So other things are question marks telling. So that's why it's here. You can tell there are the demons. So I already told you what the demon right. Demon means these are the processes running, but directly not involved with you. 
they are helping you to run your scripts kind of thing. Well, I just want to know when my program is going to run, what will this process dot slash? Flight booking, morning batch. I have executed that. Still, it is running, right? Let's see. So here, I am able to see this process. Let's see. It is running. Now, it got a PID this. Right, guys. It is running. That's right, got it. So now it, you are getting the uh, process name and here also the PID. Okay, you got it. And it is running here. It's telling PTS zero. If you, if I know that I have upon two terminals, one is if you want to see what is your terminal, PTY. So here you are in PTS1, that means this is running in PTS2, sorry, PTS0, right? That's why it's telling this flight booking is running in PTS0 terminal. And this is your PID of this particular cell. I also shown yesterday when you are, you are running any process in the background or any, anywhere, okay, it is running, then, there is some PID will be created in your process process directory slash prop directory cd slash p r o c just see you will get a folder in the name of this 377971 just see 377971 right okay this is the so 377971 you got one folder when this will be killed when this particular process or script will be run, completed at that time, you will not get this entry here. Three seven seven nine seven one. You will not get. So here you are also getting this one as eh? right? This three seven seven nine seven one. You can get multiple ways. One is ps command. Another is ls slash proc. Here also you are able to get that. 377971. So this process, this is a process ID of your running program. So all these are whatever folders you are able to see here, they all are belongs to one or process. But this is my process. That's why I, I am interested on in this. I, I am able to see this. What this particular process ID contains? Just go to CD 377971. Then just see here you will get a lot of folders are created within that particular folder. Once you kill this particular process, so I told you one of the method to kill this process, kill any type of program, kill any type of command by control C. So I have made the control C, I have used the control C. Now I came out of this particular script or particular program or particular process. Now your command is not going to show that they see that flight booking is not here. Then ls slash p r o c your that three seven seven nine seven one also killed here. It is not you will not find here also. Guys, you got what is that ps command is doing? The PS command is nothing but it is just showing uh, the process name, current process name like this. PS. It is telling you what is your process name and what is your cell name. But if you want to see all the processes, PS minus A. Okay. And this PS minus A is going to show you this information only like three to four columns. If you want to see all the columns, PS minus AF. 
एप मतलब फुल फॉर्मेट गाइस सो फुल फॉर्मेट में इट इज टेलिंग यू एवरीथिंग लाइक वन इज हु इज अ यूजर हु इज अ यूजर हु इज रनिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रोग्राम एंड दिस इज द पीआईडी दिस इज द पैरेंट प्रोसेस आईडी एंड दिस इज द टर्मिनल नंबर एंड व्हेन इट वाज स्टार्टेड लाइक दिस लॉट्स ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन आर गिविंग एंड फाइनली योर प्रोग्राम नेम सो लेट्स रन माय स्क्रिप्ट ओके इट विल गो like i am now running in the next method ash flight looking morning so here i have run that now this process is running so if you are putting ps minus af you are able to see your script name also here right so now let's see you have run that right being a ct user so a ct user is running and the new id i have told you as soon as the process will be run our program will run it will create a new id that's called new pid 378036 and this this is the pid of this particular uh, program because under on uh, this uh, who, what is that it is the cell id actually so cell uh, has a process id this cell is running this particular uh, program that's why cell id became the parent id of this particular program now is it to user is the uh, user who is running the script and uh, his pid is this and at this okay and it process the pid is this then other information as i show okay so this is called your thing uh, so you just want to know uh, what is my uh, information like it is showing all the things right so sometimes you may see uh, 1000 process 2000 process so how can you identify your script so i have told you already uh, uh, i have to sorry how to identify your process okay so i have already told you the grep command so just run this command then on the top of that you just press grep g r e p i told you right whatever output it is producing you will use the pipe command then grep then you will get the grep what will be grep implied booking i am just uh, i am just using some initials f l i g h t okay so it will it will display all the uh, flight related um, scripts uh, if it is running so i want to give the exact name like b o o k i n g it's it's okay now flight booking then morning you can put also but better to uh, use some initials okay flight booking kind of thing so i don't need to uh, not need to put the whole name you just uh, put a Uh, initials okay so just see here you are able to see that flight booking only so in this is producing two output one is flight booking that is original and this is the your grep command because you have used a grep command here right so everything is a process ps is showing you this as well as your grep command if you want to avoid this okay if you want to avoid this line then press it like this then another pipe Grep minus B, G R E P minus B. Then grep. So it is going to uh, avoid your grabs. This this type of output. It will show you only this up. Okay, that's it. Very well. Right. So this is showing you your the information regarding your information, your processor. Okay, the one you are searching. guys right, this is all about your process command so this uh, particular command i have left during the um, session so it is also needed for a it engineer or any type of engineer in the it and that may be a data engineer that may be linux engineer that may be a production support engineer any anybody is needing that particular uh, command that's why i have shown you elaborately and there is another command also like ef ps minus ef it is also showing you almost same information as uh, ps minus a ps minus a means all ps minus e means all, all also you can use these two alternatively ps minus e f then red flight f l i g h t And then PS minus A, then grab flight F L I. It is showing you almost same information. 
So you guys can use this to minus A or minus C alternatively also. Or capital A you can use. Got it. So guys, I'm just stopping this particular session. Next section, I will discuss other commands like this thing. Let me go to that. Go to key. Yes, the top command, kill command, job command, etc. So let's stop this system now.